Hey people, today's an exciting day for us. We're going to start our portion of the course on Google macros and scripts. Why is that so exciting? Because that's the core of this course, which is automating and using technology to make yourself more efficient, to save time, to save money, to avoid errors. And Google macros and scripts are fantastic ways to do that, especially in Google Sheets. So what are they? You can see them under the tools menu in Google Sheets. They are ways to automate what you do. They are ways to, instead of doing repetitive tasks, have the computer do them for you. Instead of doing complicated, annoying tasks that our computers are good at, have the computer do it for you. So the two ways to do that are through the script editor, which is where you just write code. You're writing JavaScript code to do certain things in Google Sheets. It can seem a little confusing, but this is actually way simpler than you realize and can be really powerful. With just a few lines of code, you can add sort buttons. You can add buttons that move data from one sheet to another. You can add buttons that format sheets certain ways. Whatever you do repeatedly in Google Sheets, if it's something that can be automated in terms of a computer can understand, you should automate it because it will absolutely save you time. These sort buttons probably save me 10, 15, 20 seconds every time I click it. But if I click it a few times a day and I do that for weeks, obviously that can add up pretty fast. So number one, you can write code to do lots and lots of things. You can send emails, you can move rows, you can do a lot of really, really amazing, powerful things. You can also record macros. So while the code editor lets you write custom code to do all sorts of things, the macros let you record what you're doing on the screen. For example, let's say I selected this top row and I wanted to bold or unbold it. I could do tools, macros, record new macro. And while I was doing that, Google Scripts, Google Sheets will record what I do. And here's an example, it will convert it to code. So we'll go through this in more detail and I'll show you some examples soon, but it converts it to code. So then what you can do is you can run it again. So if I all the time have to format sheets by making the top row bold and, and changing the highlight of a column or do anything, anything that where it's the same thing over and over again that you can record and the computer can play back, you can automate that, save yourself time. Not only that, you can edit the code. So if you do record it and you want to change a small thing, you can just edit it right here where you had recorded it. And if you're trying to learn to code, learn to do some simple scripts, you can use this as a way to see what the code looks like when you do a certain thing. So you could, let's say you wanted to write a sort button, you could highlight the place you wanted to sort. You could actually sort it, right? Tools or data sort. And you'll see that it would come up here. So again, it can also be a great tool for learning to code. So that's the quick summary. Just really, really great ways to save time, be efficient, save money, avoid errors, and, and just do the more fun tasks, right? It's more fun to write the code than to spend time sorting or formatting or doing whatever it is you do in Sheets. And it's really powerful. You can send emails, you can use external services through APIs, which we'll talk about. So it's a really powerful tool. Let's get started.